Hello, and I'm Mouflon, and uh, for this video I'm going to be talking about my prediction for Season 7 in Conqueror's Blade. And uh, I'm just going to start by saying that um, um, obviously I know what's on the website and there's this countdown. I believe this countdown is to obviously the release of uh, Season 7, as many of you guys believe. Uh, but um, what is actually in the video is actually really exciting. We see a bloodstained imprint of a wolf on a stone outcrop, an open fire, and in the foreground we've got bloodstained handprint on the rock. But more importantly, a lot of people said that this is a cave. It's not. It's actually a forest with a stone outcrop. And uh, this kind of leads into my prediction as well, because we have a forest and we have wolves. And I think that's actually really exciting. But before I get onto that, I just want to go over the previous seasons just to give um, uh, just more gravitas to my prediction as well. So uh, the last three seasons uh, I'm going to go over specifically uh, because that's where they kind of had more emphasis on, on the lore and, and, and stuff in, inside the game. So starting with season four, we had the blood of the empire, four new units, and these were inspired by the Ottomans with an emphasis on the capture of Reginopolis. We had season five, Legacy of Fire. Again, two units were only introduced, but two promotions and inspiration came from Greek fire. Season six, Scourge of Winter. They had no new units, but they had three promotions. And this was inspired by the Hungarian Black Army. Uh, we saw an overhaul of the weather system as well. And uh, I think this is quite important for the prediction, but also we also saw like in the previous season as well like uh, uh, water and the boats and stuff and to be honest when i first heard about the boats and stuff i really thought this was kind of going to be the time when the vikings came as well uh so we i think in season seven we're still going to have winter uh i think in the northern uh regions but especially with the recent news as well about the eu servers merging as well i think this is going to bring us bigger map as well and possibly another region now this region i think is going to be based on uh forest and i think it's going to be based kind of around scandinavian forests and stuff like that that's my first prediction the reason why i'm predicting this forest region is exactly because of the image of the wolf print and stuff and um i think I had a lot of theories about uh, stuff before I saw that image as well of what they were going to do but I really do feel that um, you know with the wolves as well there's a lot of um, opportunities there for the developers to kind of grow on that there's the werewolves the beliefs in m medieval times about um, the wolves uh, skins and getting bitten by a wolf and um, uh, you've got the uh, wolf gods and and stuff and so I think this is going to kind of tie into the lore as well about uh, an army coming down from let's say the north and you know with these wolf calls and stuff so I think especially with this as well there's lots of opportunity for the attires as well being very kind of um, inspired by wolves with wolf pelts so think brown furs and stuff like that so just before I get on to uh, further this, uh, I into this further rather, um, I did start thinking that previously that this was going to be about the Anglo-Saxons and there's going to be promotions there in terms of some of the units, specifically the Demesnip spearmen and squires. Um, but then, you know, with the wolf, I really, really do believe now that this is going in the direction of Vikings and Norsemen so or, or viking like something they're like because conqueror's blade doesn't really kind of invest everything into like um a culture they will draw onto it or something and so i think we're finally going to start seeing some sort of axemen or something like that so this kind of goes against maybe the idea of about promotions because i can't really see any units being um kind of promoted into these kind of Norsemen type units but who knows and uh, th there could be an opportunity there I mean we already have kind of axe wielding serfs 
um, to as uh, so to speak so it could be something similar in that respect um, and uh, I mean a promoted surf unit how awesome would that be but we'll see so I so for my prediction as well I also started looking at um, uh, Germanic as well tribes as well I mean they use wolf symbols a lot but to be honest the strong point here is is just that forest and what better culture than to draw on kind of Vikings and Norsemen I think this season will be the season of Vikings and I think we're finally going to get them and I think season seven is going to be really exciting because of it so so there it is I I think one we're going to get a new region uh, with forests two that uh, we're still going to have this weather thing uh, going on so possibly you know with the winter as well and um, three I think we're gonna get Norsemen uh, as well so uh, there's my predictions um, uh, by the way I'm a twitch um, usually on twitch streaming as well I stream Monday Tuesday Wednesday usually with the uh, Conqueror's Blade uh, giveaway so make sure to uh, s uh, follow my channel and uh, also subscribe to my YouTube channel I'm hoping to be able to develop some more YouTube videos in the future as well uh, so yeah it all depends on how much time I've got as well but also how uh, the outreach is so if you find uh, this uh, video useful or interesting as well uh, please let me know in the comments any feedback as well you've got just uh, let me know thank you